Our rescue and recovery plan is a path forward with both seriousness of purpose and a clear plan. January 20th is an important date in 2020. It was the day that the first COVID case was confirmed in the US. The Trump administration has been criticised for its response over the past 12 months. Now, on the 20th of January 2021, that problem becomes Joe Biden's. This horse is so far out of the barn that redirecting it is going to be a Herculean task. And we need to give the new administration, the new president, I think a significant amount of leeway in trying to redirect the ship, redirect this horse. Biden has already indicated he wants a $1.9 trillion relief bill. More money for ordinary Americans to get through the economic crisis. More money for vaccinations. He wants 100 million vaccines administered in his first 100 days. And much greater federal involvement in putting it all together. This will be one of the most challenging operational efforts we have ever undertaken as a nation. We'll have to move heaven and earth to get more people vaccinated, to create more places for them to get vaccinated. You guys are violating federal law. It's a plan that doesn't come without potential political fallout. I think you're going to see more and more people dug in, suggesting that somehow because you have an illegitimate president now attempting to infringe upon our freedoms, people are going to become increasingly dug in to thwart what the policy changes this, new, this incoming president is going to try to implement. Joe Biden has said COVID is his number one priority, insists the reaction will be driven by science, not politics, something welcomed by those on the medical front lines. Joe Biden is going to look like a rock star by simply embracing what the best science says. There are polls and experts that say if Donald Trump had taken coronavirus seriously from day one, thrown resources at it rather than played it down, he'd be about to start his second term in office. How the incoming administration marshals the recovery will go a long way to deciding how history remembers President Joe Biden. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, at the White House.